Hi there, I'm Carmen and welcome back. We're here at Align Pilates Studio and in today's video we are going to take a look at the exercise, the spine stretch. This was taught to me by Jay Grimes and I am going to show you two variations today. Both have their purpose and they're entirely different and they work the body in two different ways. So I encourage you to explore the two options and see which one works for you or which gives you a better idea of feeding the information into your center. For the setup, you are going to go on one middle spring or even one on the bottom. For today's demonstration, because it's a little hard to do and talk, I'm just going to go on one low, but know that you can go in the middle, okay? So you come down to the floor and you are going to take your spine stretch position that you have found in your mat work. And again, I can't say this often enough, make sure you have a strong mat foundation and a strong reformer foundation because then you'll know where your body needs to be in space. So the first variation that we're going to look at is the spine stretch in a tall back spine shape, okay? So the point of the exercise is to teach our body about getting out of our hips and in a tall back position as well as reaching out through the bottom half of our body. So we're really emulating a nice two-way stretch. The reason why the pedal goes anywhere and if it goes at all is simply because my spine is going up and my belly button is going way up into the back of the nape of my neck. And I return keeping that lift out of my hips. So as you can see, I actually just totally love this one low spring because honestly, I think that I would be in my cheating areas if I did it otherwise, okay? So that is the tall back variation for spine stretch. The second variation that Jay taught me is the round back. Now, I have seen it done with the bent elbows, but we're going to work it with straight arms because I see it all around the room when we're doing this shape. We're getting back into that C curve, but we're up and over into the forward spine stretch position. So it's very challenging and your spring and your pedal might not go very far, but the point is we are trying to get the spine to open up into a consistent, tall, long curl or round, okay? That's the spine shape. So as I find that spine shape going spine stretch forward, my pedal will move and then I'm coming out of it. Now this is not my favorite. I have a very difficult time working that low back to find that curl. So again, it's not gonna be far, but I'm working that intense, deep curling of the low middle back. Okay, having said all that, what can go wrong? A lot. First thing is, it's not an arm exercise, so just erase that out of your mind. It is the spine making the shape that causes the pedal to do its work, or the spring. The pedal, or the spring, gives us our resistance, something to work against, and then supports us when we come back out of it. The second thing that can kind of be tricky is what are you actually doing to move that pedal? Are you in your center or are you using your shoulders too much? Are you gripping in your hip flexors? Are you, ter you know, moving your pelvis? Is it unstable? And the big one for me is am I using my neck too much to try to create these shapes? Whether I'm in tall or round, I can really get up into this or, you know, knock it down into that. So there are a few things for you to work on. 
This will keep you busy for a lifetime. Good luck with this one. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments below. If you love Pilates and like our, our channel, please subscribe. It means a lot to us. Thanks.